this video is to introduce how to write different numbers in Chinese with some memory aids. So numbers 1, 2, and 3 are really easy. 1, 2, 3. That makes sense. They're just the lines, right? Number 4 is a box because it's four sides, right? But because a box already means mouth, you have to do something to distinguish it from mouth. And so we add these two lines inside because the number four can be divided evenly into two, right? It's the first prime number after one and two. Uh, and so that's four. Number five is a box plus a number one. Four plus one is five. And so it ends up looking like this over time five, right? And that's cool because it kind of looks like the number five if you write over it, five, right? And so you write it like this, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then the number six, it makes no sense at all. It's a starfish. Think of Patrick. That's the number six. No other way to remember it, number six. Number seven looks like this. And what's cool about that is it's an upside down seven if you write your sevens in the fancy way with the lines through them. So you just have to think of a seven that's been rotated. That's an upside down seven. The number eight looks like this. It's the word for eight. It's also the Chinese word character for separate. It's like the number four. It can be divided equally. And so you have this character. You also see it written sometimes like this. I would prefer when you handwrite it that you write it just as the two sticks because then it starts to look a lot like this character or this character or even person if you start trying to write it or enter or person if you start trying to write it too fancily. So just do the two sticks. The number 10, we're going to skip nine for a minute. The number 10 is a perfect cross. And then the number nine is the number 10, but not quite. It has this extra tumor here. And it means not quite 10. It's 10 with a defect, 10 with a tumor. And that means nine. 